All right, welcome back to Dominion 6. We are still doing expansion. Uh, it looks like we may have lost our scout from that last battle we had here in Might Marsh. Retreat details killed. Scout was killed. One thing I love about Roos is you'll notice here we have these units that retreated and didn't do anything. We have a stealthy unit, which means he can be used to scout, who also has leadership, which means I can recruit this guy, except I don't have enough money, and then get these guys consolidated later. Okay, uh, we are ready to go. Uh, oh, what's this magic site? A volcano. Increases heat by a maximum of one. Produces three fire gems. That's excellent. Um, and it means that this is going to stay a friendlier temperature. Over here, we're at cold two, which is ideal for us. Um, and our population likes that. So because we took one scale of growth, our total growth zeroes out, which means we will keep our immense population here and our immense income. Over here, uh, terrain population bonus. Yeah, population density. So because we have growth, we're just barely growing over here. Uh, one interesting thing about population is I was looking into this back in Dom 5, trying to figure out exactly how it's calculated. Um, I can't tell you, this is going to get a little bit programmer nerdy on you, but I can't tell you for sure whether this is an integer or a float. I have a hunch that it's a floating point decimal value, and I think it gets rounded to every 10. So what the actual underlying population is, it might be 5,951.3, um, but it gets rounded to the nearest 10, I believe. Uh, so even though sometimes you don't see growth going here, it still is probably getting applied. Uh, don't go, don't hold me to that. I don't know. I went and asked um, on the server to try to get an answer to this question, and we kind of we discussed some interesting things, but basically, I don't think anybody knows for sure uh, unless you can get access to the source code. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and end our turn. Like I said, these are kind of long battles for so early. Zabalba's in the game. Um, we can, if you like. This is something I don't do. Oh, one thing I forgot is to turn on the score graphs. I really wanted to be able to see all the nation score graphs, but I think I have them off by default. So that's okay. That's the way I usually play. But um, for this game, I meant to have score graphs on. Again, uh, I'm just dumping her gems into uh, the lab, and we're going to get Saul ready to go fight. Okay. We got 15 protection, which will get bumped up slightly from bark skin. Uh, we got fire resistance going crazy, um, so I'm not really worried about the malice from. Oh, she can't. She can't walk all the way over there. She can't walk to there either. Uh, are we gonna really do this? Go have her fight cavalry and light cavalry. She could take a lot of damage. She's got 105 hit points. Hmm. See, that's what sucks about having this armor. If she didn't have any armor, oh, she still can't get over there. This is bad terrain for her to deal with. Uh, if I forged long strides, that would help. <sighs> but I didn't. She doesn't have a helmet either, but we'll deal with that later. I could just have all of these guys go together. It's not my favorite thing. Ah, there's Caves of Madness, the Hidden Realm. We could have her try to expand down here, too, based on how things go. All right, guys, so it's kind of not my preferred way to do things. Um, but we're going to combine these two armies and move them together and one of them is going to go downstairs and one of them is going to stay upstairs and we'll just see how we do uh so she is over here i'm going to move her up uh she's going to cast a spell she's going to cast bark skin she's going to cast um you know hmm I think she's just going to cast fire darts and then after that advance and cast spells and that's probably going to take care of everything um we are 
going berserko into cavalry. Maybe we'll back up a bit. So, yeah, let's do it that way. Uh, the cavalry cavalry will split forward from the regular infantry, so hopefully we'll route them quickly. Not a great start for me, um, not being able to expand with her very effectively. But eh, that's what we got. That's what, what we were dealt with, so we're going to deal with it. Uh, another wizard really, really, really want to get... Um, really, really, really want to get... Uh, an astral path. Uh, bumping these guys up to 6. I don't know if this is still the case in Dominion 6. I really do hope they've changed it, but there used to be a little tweak where there's a certain negative event you can get if you only have PD5 or less, and then... If you have six or more, you don't get that negative event. And we do have misfortune scales, so I'm doing that against what I hope is the case with the game. But anyway, uh, yeah, we're going towards enchantment. Once we get uh, regeneration, that'll be great. We'll have it in two turns. Um, we are losing a bunch of research points from her, 35, by moving out. But like I said, I don't want to waste her. Let's go. If possible, I'm going to keep her above ground because she doesn't have dark vision, whereas my sacred army, uh, the sacreds in the army, have dark vision, so they can do okay downstairs. All right, let's take a look at what happens in Bay Pond. This should be... Oh, my cat wants out. The cat wants out, but outside is closed. I'm sorry, but we're not going out today. scroll and watch what happens with the cavalry. Oh, they did a lot of damage to my bears. That's okay. We'll recover. Um, it is too cold, and I've closed the cat door because it leaks heat. Uh, there you can see the mounts are running off. That's a new feature of Dominion 6 is there's mounted units. So they kind of clarified some of the wonky stuff in Dominions 5 where some units had mounts that would continue to fight after the leader was dismounted. And Anyway... It's good. I'm glad they did that. Cleaned it up, even though it's kind of weird to see a bunch of horses You just on the map, but whatever. All right, let's go. Let's take a look at it. We didn't lose anybody. That's what I love about Roos. Okay. Um, she will definitely continue this way. He will probably go downstairs. Uh, the Hidden Realm has lava borns not a lot of them but does have some <sighs> okay i am sure we can do it though mm, yeah i'm sure we can take them um oh, come on stop it you're just gonna have to deal okay wait for me to finish this episode wait for me to finish the episode then i'll let you out Okay. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, we'll just do this. These guys will be able to take the Lava Borns, I'm pretty sure. They are tough units, but there's hardly any of them there. And then let's go upstairs. And we got Dominion down here, too, so that's good. So she'll expand this way and be totally fine, except that now that she's going on her own, um, we're going to have her attack rearmost after she casts some spells. Uh, let's see, I'm going to have her hold and cast one spell. So this will get replaced, usually by a, a sensible spell. And the reason I'm doing that is if we go over here to research, we're going to have enchantment level 2 next. And at level 2 we'll get personal regeneration. And so what I'm hoping is that the casting AI will realize that, hey, cast a random spell. You know what's a great random spell? Regeneration. It's going to cast it. I can't script regeneration because I don't have it right now, but I will when the battle starts, and hopefully this will regeneration will fill this slot. Then after that, we're going to cast um, fire darts, and we're just going to cast a bunch of fire darts until they close with us. And then we'll just go and attack them. And we're going to put her all the way up here in this corner. So they have to travel a long way to get to her. And yeah, I'm pretty sure she will be fine. She gets... Oh, and there's my Astral finally. And this is what I would have forged with him if I could have. A Enchanted Ringmail Armor, which would have cost me far less than the other armor did. 
as well as an enchanted shield, which is much better than uh, the rawhide, sh rawhide shield, in my opinion. Okay, so we got that guy taken care of. We want to work on yet another army. These guys are super expensive, though, and we don't have the income coming yet. So again, another wizard, and just get the... Uh, ooh, zeroed it out completely. Get all the sacreds we can. Uh, we'll keep them on repeat recruitment. Yeah, we're ready to go. Uh, we got nothing in this province yet, but we'll take care of that momentarily. So, here we go. Take a sip of my coffee. Mmm. All right, enchantment's done. Let's uh, take a look at... I'm curious about the Hidden Realm, how it does. Um, so we got maybe a misleading battle report there. Anyway, there go my dudes. And their attack skill, darkness minus one. Uh, so they do have the dark vision, which is making that penalty less than it normally would, because these guys are darkness minus three. Uh, due to the fact that they don't have dark vision. Fortunately, fire shield's not going to do much against these guys, but um, regeneration will keep us alive and take them out. Yeah, we, we did good. But you can see we took a lot of damage there based on how much regeneration went off there at the end. All right, let's take a look at Winna. Is it a Winna? Let's find out. Uh, she did gift of the hair, not regeneration. And the flame darts hit. It seems to me, based on Dom 6 versus Dom 5, that these spells, the spam spells, I kind of think of them as, the fire darts and stuff, hit a lot better than they used to. Um, don't know. Your mileage may vary, but that is what it seems like to me. All right, Fire Shield, I really am going to rely on you here because we only have the 10% regeneration. Oh, man, it is it is hitting them, though. Look at them. They're getting caught on fire from the Fire Shield, and they're burning up. That's good, and we have not taken damage yet. Okay. And then she's doing a great deal of damage. Hit the Slinger with the range attack. Hit the Infantry with the range attack. And then we get down here. She, they're all taking a ton of fire damage. Um, and then she, you yeah, have fire damage, if he infantry with the fire sword, which kills him instantly, attack roll 20 versus defense 19, barely did it, uh, yeah, pretty good, and her fatigue is still only 42, so, yeah, doing good, she's gonna be more than enough to deal with this kind of, uh, cheap indie drek. And then she'll also get some very useful experience points. Keep going. Keep going, lady. Get as many as you can. Leave no survivors. One hit, one kill. Right? That's right. Okay. How did she do? She killed 34 of them. Yeah. Winner was a win. Oh, in an arena. Nice income. Uh, XP... She's got one XP star. Okay, one thing to be careful of is, one, we're not going to attack into here because Lizard Shaman will curse you. That's one of the nice things about their bless. Uh, we are going to attack into this uh, region here because it's basically garbage units. Um, we'll be able to kill them effectively. You guys. Um... Hmm. I'm going to grab this guy, I think, to get those units out of there. And then we need... We do kind of need to start getting one of these leaders. Okay, recruiting this guy down here means I can't recruit a Son of Heaven. And we are ready to recruit a Son of Heaven. I think it's time to do it. Let's do it. Okay. Uh, we really need to get some headwear for him. Um... Mm, we're working on Conjuration. I would like to get the ability to build lesser items because I'll get better armor and helms. Uh, but I want to get to... Uh, I want to get to Firebirds first. So after that, we'll do Construction 3 and then back to Conjuration. 
Okay, uh, let's see. One thing that's useful is to press F1 and go here and fix all of your provinces that need it. All right. That's the best I can do for now. Uh, well, let's not forget downstairs. Uh, I don't think we're going to be attacking that one very soon. Oh, and here is Zibalda. Ah, shades and shade beasts. I do not know how I'm going to do against them. Let's let's find out. Uh, Zibalda is also annoying. Her bodyguards are still intact. Okay. Yeah, wow. F flaming ones are uh, hard to get. They're very expensive, but these guys are great. Heat 3 is not going to be helpful for us. But Dark Vision, yeah, they're, they're good units. Um, attack skill sucks, though. That's the only thing. Ah, they're, they're okay. I uh, wouldn't mind a Lava Born Commander, though. Hit points are mediocre. Ah! I mean, they're not the greatest with my nation, because we're obviously cold. Um, okay, let's go ahead and do the next turn. And... Once these start getting too long, I'm going to have to start editing videos and skipping my planning and everything. The early expansion isn't so bad. Uh, research and Conjuration is completed. Throne of Twilight has been claimed. Um, died during the March to the Hidden. There was Battle in the Mines. Okay, guys. So our weapons are not going to be very effective against the ethereal units, but our bless magic will be, and our fire shield should still get these guys. Oh, it doesn't look like it's doing much, does it? Oh, there's the commander, at least. Hopefully we'll kill him quickly. This guy, is he taking any... Is he taking any damage from fire shield? It really doesn't look like it. Okay, well, a bunch of them just dropped, so... That's good. I think they killed one of my bears, though. Yeah, anyway, there they go. Um, yeah, they got two of my skin shifters. That's not great. All right, Banded Hills, how did you do? Personal barks. Oh, I need to put her on regen. She's still doing gift of the hair for some ridiculous reason. Yeah, I didn't hit so many that time, but these are just trash malicious. She should be okay. Once she casts personal regen, her regeneration goes to 20%, and that's amazing. Like, way more important than Gift of the Hair. At least Gift of the Hair is keeping her up with these guys, so she can... Oh, she actually didn't kill one! One hit, one kill, the dream ends. Okay. Got it. Yeah, that's enough. Alright. Hidden Realm. Order increased, but population went down. Okay. Overall, I'm okay with that. Uh, how is our population here? It's growing. Uh, ooh, all right. These are starting to get more difficult. Um, these guys are hard-hitting troops as well. Hmm. Cavemen suck. I could get a ton of them. Hmm. Hmm. Got to think a little bit about that one. Uh, she could probably take these guys pretty easily. Um, all right, we got her more. One thing I would like to do is diplomacy. We're going to send a diplomatic missive to Zabalba. We can't propose... Why can't we? Non-aggression pact with Zabalba. Why can't we? That's weird. 
Yeah, I think we can. I think we're fine. Yeah, we'll send that off. Um, over here, do we want to go in against the ghouls and the solace? Does she have poison resistance? She does. She has high poison resistance. Um, the highest you can get, anyway. Uh, let's go ahead, expand one more time. We do need to kind of come back home here soon. Uh, we do have our second offensive guy getting ready to go. And we want to take the barbs with him. Ah, barbarians. Ah, barbarians. Scourge of the Earth. Uh, it wouldn't be bad to get it out of the sun eventually, but we also need to save up for a fortress. So we'll get another wizard, save our money. Uh, we do want to also, at this point, buff our defense up to 10. Again, don't know if 10 is the magic number in Dominion 6 anymore. It used to be. In Dominions 5, 10 Dominion is what you wanted to at least have in order to uh, stave off certain negative events. But hopefully that's not necessarily the case anymore. As you can see, you get very few units for your gold underground. It sucks. It sucks. Uh, we are going to get... I think we're just going to get some of these Russian hunters. Uh, let's go back downstairs and do I want to take these guys out? I ought to be able to. I mean, like, why don't we live dangerously? Oh, man, they do hit really hard. Um, 50 of them. 50 of them. I don't want Zabalba to get this. We could bump with Zabalba if we're not careful. What I could do is I could just, like I said, recruit a bunch of these cavemen. And, I mean, it would help a little bit. Dark Vision 50. They are fire and cold resistance, which is good. Resistant, which is good. But they otherwise have absolutely garbage stats. And I do not have any magic to buff them. Hmm. Great club. Hit points 23 is good. Defense skill 10 is terrible. Protection 2 is terrible. They're going to get eaten alive by those dudes. I would love to get this province, though, because these guys recruit pretty good. If I do this, though... Ah, man, it's a tough one. Um, I'm going to be conservative this time. Um, can we get any mercenaries? Where's the mercenary? The UI has changed, so things are more difficult to do than they used to be. Uh, mercs, army, recruit, bid for mercenaries. The wet ones. Uh, these are the only ones I can get, and they cost 250, and I don't have 250 that I want to even spend. Best I can do is move up here and get Lava Born, which are also really not that good for me. I think uh, I, I do want to I don't know guys this is a tough one we could expand over here instead in fact can she go over there no so she's going to keep going down there we're going to bring him back up here uh, and expand on the surface this is the best we can do for now or I'll get some reinforcements Anyway, I'll think about that off camera. As always, guys, thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Until then, bye-bye.